Hi, this is Laura Homan, Quality Assurance Director with Straight Score. Today we will focus on all aspects of cashiering a shooter. It's time to log in. The cashiering module is seamless in Shoot Pro Cloud. Let's take a moment to discuss the roles that impact cashiering. The cashier is able to enter scores, squad, and process payments by shooters. The accountant can issue refunds, however, cannot overwrite refund policies. And finally, the admin can issue refunds regardless of your tournament policy. Now we will concentrate on the act of cashiering. The simplest way to open cashiering is to navigate to the shoot dashboard, then click the cashier button. As with all modules, you can use the hamburger icon, select the cashiering menu, then select cashier. To access a shooter, simply enter the ATA number or the first three letters of the last name. If the message shooter not found appears, send that shooter back to classification for processing. To begin cashiering a shooter, first check the desired events for which the shooter wants to pay. Then select the desired options. Notice that in the upper right hand corner of the screen that as the options are selected, the amount due continues to accumulate. If you deselect options, the amount continues to decrease. Left click on the events column heading. Notice that you have some very important shortcuts that will really help speed up this process. The first is select all events. Oftentimes, a shooter will want to pay one time with one check for all events. This shortcut is a great shortcut to use in that situation. Let's say the shooter decides that they don't want to pay for all events. You also have a clear all events option. The third option that you have is to select today's events. Once your events are selected, you're able to choose the options in the same manner. Take a look at the icon next to the options column heading. You have a choice of select all options. You have a choice to clear all options. And then one of my favorites is select all Lewis options. In this particular case, all Lewis options and all options are exactly the same. After you select, notice in the upper right hand corner, pay tells you exactly how much you can tell the shooter they will owe. Best practice indicates that in some instances, it is easier to select all options and then deselect the options that the shooter does not want. Definitely make a point to become comfortable using these time savers. Once you have selected all the events and all the options for which the shooter wishes to pay, you click on the green pay button in the upper right corner. Before we leave this screen, let's take a closer look at this account balance. This shooter has a balance of $188.50. For the events that the shooter wishes to pay, he owes $87. So there are three options that this shooter has. The shooter can pay the $87 and keep the credit of $188.50 for later. In that case, we would just type in $87. Notice that the green pay button appears. But let's say this particular shooter prefers to pay the $87 and get 
the remaining $101.50 now. That is an option for the shooter. And again notice the green pay button appears. The change amount also appears. The best part about this change button is that when you click pay and the shooter receipt appears on the screen, the change remains so that you are easily able to provide the receipt and the proper change to that shooter. Let's now move our focus in cashiering to issuing refunds. Refunds begin at the shooter selection screen, the screen with the events and options checked. You turn on the refund mode. When the refund mode is turned on, you see the events for which the shooter is eligible to receive that refund. This shooter may not be refunded for events 1 through 4 because scores have been entered. However, they are able to be refunded for event 5, event 6, and event 7. Notice the options for which that particular shooter played automatically appear. Now in the upper right hand corner, we see a red refund button. We click that. Again, two options for this particular shooter. They can receive the total refund now, or they can save that refund in their account for future use. If you'll take a look down at the bottom, there's a very, very important checkbox that you want to be aware. That is remove the shooter from the squads. If this particular shooter just wanted to change their option payment, we would not remove them from their squad. We want to keep that shooter on the squads for which they are assigned, and we just want to re-cashier the shooter. So I'm going to deselect print receipt. I'm going to provide $72 to this particular shooter. And now I can go back in and I can re-cashier the shooter for those three events. Because that particular shooter told us we don't want to have the options that were selected we just want to play targets today. The shooter pays $45, and you'll notice the money on account adjusts accordingly. This particular shooter wants to pay the $45 himself. Let's go back to that same shooter, and let's issue a refund because this particular shooter is unable to participate in the rest of the tournament. So we're going to give the shooter the money back. We're going to click on refund. We're going to issue the $45, but this time we're going to leave remove shooter from squad because that shooter no longer wants to participate in the tournament due to medical reasons. So this shooter is going to come out of squad three post four in three different events. We click refund and that completes the refund transaction. So far, we have discussed cashiering in general, cashiering and refunding, and cashiering and refunding options. We've also discussed shooter accounts. But at the end of the day, what's important to the cashier is that he or she balances. To determine this, the cashier will want to reconcile the cash drawer with the payment log. To access the payment log, use the hamburger icon, then cashiering menu, and then payment log. If you share a cash box with other cashiers, be certain to set the optional filter for the date only. If you yourself have a cash box, then you will want to select yourself as the cashier. 
Once you press the print button, the payment log appears. In this case, I have a cash drawer myself, and these are all the transactions that I've completed. Notice the checks appear with the check number. The number I'm interested in, in regard to reconciling my cash drawer, is this bottom line number. I should have in my cash drawer, including my checks, including my credit card receipts, $1,716.75. Obviously, we would subtract the start money that I had at the beginning of the day. When my cash drawer matches this total, I am balanced for the day. And that is how simple it is to use the cashiering module. For those of you who have the role of cashier, good luck and good balancing. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments or contact us via the club dashboard. Additional resources are available in the video description below. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. Consider subscribing to see when we post new tutorials and hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new content. Thank you for watching.